In today's episode, we're gonna learn how to- Excuse me, excuse me. Hi, I'm Inconvenient Man, and I wanna do everything in my power to make your life less convenient. Why? Because progress is for losers. Ah, I think I'll read something. English? That's my native language. This won't do. This looks like German. Perfect. I have no idea how to speak German. Wie trainiere ich Ihren Hund? Wie trainiere ich Ihren Ihren Hund? I love making things harder than they have to be. Inconvenient, man. You know, things would probably be a lot better for you if you would just open your mind and start by having your pet's food automatically shipped to you from PetFlow, for example. And miss the pleasure of driving across town, choosing from a limited selection, and hauling it home myself? For the rest of us, there's a better option. You can save $10 on your first three Ooh. automatic shipments from PetFlow. Saving time and money? Absolutely not. Use discount code ZAC30. The link will be in the description. Click thumbs up for a new video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It's completely free and you'll learn how to train your dog. And if you want even more tips, follow me on Instagram at Zach George, link below. Recently, Delta, the German Shepherd dog mix came by. My understanding is that she occasionally becomes uncomfortable with people and she's been known to snap at people. I've asked Danielle to get Delta comfortable with a basket muzzle prior to our meeting. These kinds of muzzles are the best for managing a dog who might snap or bite a person or animal as they allow the dog to pant, take treats, and drink water while keeping everybody safe. It's uncommon for dogs to snap at people without warning and seemingly unprovoked. You can see here I'm cautiously petting Delta as I'm aware of her issue. Now, has she ever bitten a person or snapped at a person? She's snapped before, okay. but she's never bitten. <laughs> As I'm looking at this again, perhaps she took exception with being pet on top of her head by someone she doesn't know very well. Whenever a dog acts out like this towards other people or other animals, it should be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's find out more about Delta from her mom, Danielle. My name is Danielle and this is my dog, Delta. So Delta was found on the street. She was about five or six weeks old. She had really bad worms when we found her. So we nursed her back to health. We've been inseparable ever since. Currently, Delta is three years old. Delta can be selective about new people that that she meets and she can be a little reactive. You might notice that Delta is wearing her basket muzzle. I like to make sure Delta has good associations with wearing her muzzle because that means that she's safe and we're keeping other people safe. Zach, please help me get Delta more comfortable around strangers. Tell me, how does she react at home though normally? What's her behavior like when you have someone come over? She's generally excited. She likes to bring people things when they come through the door, like a blanket or a toy. She's never had any sort of outburst like that in our home. Okay, so my best guess there, change of environment, that can be stressful to some dogs that can be like, why are we here? What is this place? Who is this guy touching my head right now? It's important that whenever we're trying to resolve issues like this, that we really understand the context because when dogs react unfavorably or react in any way to anything, it's due to their genetics, lifetime experience, and the context in which the incidents occur. Does she like to be pets? She's not a dog that comes up looking for pets, from me even. She may get irritable when she gets pet. Because until I was petting her, she was fine. Mm -hmm. While we can never claim to know what's going on inside a dog's mind, most likely it's probably some type of fear response. She's unsure. I'm asking all of these questions just because every case is so unique right. and so different. My plan today is to kind of address this in three different ways. We're gonna talk about desensitizing her so that we can minimize the chance of this happening in the future, as well as how to counter condition her in order to change her reaction. Management is also a huge variable, and it looks like you've got that under control, but we'll talk more about that later. It's my goal throughout this training session not to have another outburst like that. My goal is to keep her under that level of stress to where she's unlikely to react that way again. I see how she's leaning on you, very trusting of you. She's just checking everything out. Mm -hmm. And that bond that you guys have seems really strong, and that's gonna be really important when you go to address something like this with her. I love how you're giving her the reassurance as well. Well, that's another big important part of this. To give her that reassurance is gonna go a long way. One of the best things that we can do to get a dog to react more favorably is to desensitize them. We just wanna give her that general experience of being around people. We've had her here how long now? About 10 minutes or so? Might be a good idea to give her a few more minutes just to interact over here and smell around. The more she experiences being around situations that typically make her uncomfortable, the more likely she is to feel normal in those situations. However, if she doesn't have frequent exposure to those situations, then it's going to prove 
prove challenging. As we've been sitting here talking, she seems to be adjusting. She feels very comfortable with you. So I think we should move on to the next step, which is counter conditioning, providing good outcomes around things that typically cause her to feel a bit uneasy. So I'm gonna give her some treats. Awesome. If we hope to alter her reaction around new people, we have to give her a reason to change that reaction. Play and food are great places to start. I'm gonna start off by dropping it because she did snap at me in a moment ago. I like to think that good dog trainers don't get bit. So I'm gonna ease her into it. My goal here is to completely reverse the perception that she had of me out there. She felt uneasy, that's why she snapped at me. So now if I show her, hey, look, I give you turkey. That's likely to make her feel a bit better. Look who's on their good behavior now, right? I'm gonna treat her open palm here. So now I'm able to put my hand right at her face there. That's a step in the right direction. And I'm now a little more comfortable to get a little bit lower on the ground with her here. And I'm pretty close to her right now. Cause my best guess with her is that when you get in her personal space, she gets a little alarmed and you might know I'm not petting her a lot because there's a good chance that that's a trigger to her. I'm giving her really tiny pieces here and this is all really good so far. I'm looking at her body language. I mean, her frog legs over here seem to indicate that she's in a relaxed state of mind. I'm not seeing the pilo erection. That's where their hair stands up. I'm not seeing her look particularly alert. It's really important to try and understand a dog's body language, get any clues that you can. Basically, you do counter conditioning exercises like this. Ideally, you get strangers to give her treats or drop treats in front of her. And the idea is that over time, time if she has enough experiences with strangers dropping treats from the sky around her that she's more likely to start to associate good things with them yes good girl so now i'm letting her just kind of lick me with no treats i'm just getting her used to seeing a hand come towards her face here i'm just getting her to interact with my hand in her space good job very good and she's like where's the tree but you know the main thing is she's not showing a lot of stress signs here let me see if i can get her to take some general direction from me i mean if she'll do some basic tricks for me that's a surefire sign that she's getting comfortable with me. She knows it pretty? Yeah, well, we call it bag. Oh, yeah. look at that. What do you call it? Bag. Bag. Oh, <laughs> look at you. That's so great. Bang. Good. Oh, that's really cool. When a dog takes direction from someone they've never met or are unfamiliar with, like me, that's a really good sign that they're not in a stressful state good. of mind. We're making great strides on counter conditioning Delta to react better towards me. But remember that managing any dog with an issue like this is paramount to their long-term success. When you have a dog like this that has had issues with reacting to people in the past, it's important to really manage them, honestly, lifelong. You can make a lot of improvement and perhaps she can get over it completely, but every dog is different. You're doing great on management. You've got her on leash, she's on a harness, you have the basket muzzle on just to keep everybody safe. When you talked about how when you go on walks, if you see that she's likely to react, you create the distance and everything. These are fantastic ways to manage. For those of you at home who are dealing with this, whether your dog reacts unfavorably with dogs or people or any other animal, it's important to have realistic expectations. This isn't something that you necessarily resolve quickly. Sometimes it can be years, sometimes it can be lifelong. It really just depends on the individual dog. The most efficient way to get through issues like this is to give your dog positive experiences, and that's what we're trying to do. If you've ever seen another dog trainer, whether it's on YouTube TV, who really tries to challenge a dog or really intimidate them or force them to try and get them to not behave this way, that's unlikely to resolve this issue long-term. That instead is something we call learned helplessness. If the behavior does reemerge, it's likely to reemerge worse than ever. Today was a success because we gave her a, a really good association with everything. She's doing well. She's smelling my hand. She's doing tricks for me. Danielle, great job today. Click thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to my channel as well. And to get more dog training tips between videos, follow me on Instagram, at Zach George. I've just announced my newest book too. So if you'd like to order it, I'll have that link and everything else I just mentioned in the description below. I hope you guys like this video. And this is a reminder to let you know we're really active on Instagram and that you can get dog training tips virtually daily, as well as be a part of my live broadcasts. For those not familiar, Instagram is a mobile only app. So go download the app. I'll have my Instagram link below for you to check out. Follow me there.